What are the advantages of oversizing my panels to my inverter in my solar system? Quite often you'll see quotes out there, 10 kilowatt inverter with 13 kilowatts of panels, and this is perfectly normal. In fact, it's a common practice here at Penrith Solar Center. With an in-phase micro inverter system or just a normal string system, we're allowed to oversize your panels by about 33% and still claim the juicy government rebates. If you were to do a hybrid inverter system, that being a battery connected to your solar system, we're actually legally allowed to oversize your panels by 200%, which is huge and allows you to claim the maximum government rebate that you possibly can. But why would you do this? Why don't you put the same size panels as inverter? Well, there are a couple of reasons for this. In winter, it's impossible for your panels to generate 100%. So if you had a 10 kilowatt inverter and 13 kilowatts of panels, you would never actually see that peak of even 10 kilowatts in winter. So oversizing makes perfect sense, especially in winter. But in summer, the opposite is actually true. You'll experience what we call clipping. We've made plenty of videos and articles on clipping because it's a very in-depth technical topic. But in short, clipping is where the solar panels want to produce more than what the inverter can actually handle. And in this scenario with a 10 kilowatt inverter with 13 kilowatts of panel, your inverter will get to 10 kilowatts really quickly, plateau throughout the day at 10 kilowatts, and then drop off in the afternoon like normal. And yes, you will lose some energy there, but the cost of the setup up front is usually the most efficient option that we can give you. With a DC coupled system or a hybrid system where we're allowed to go 200% oversized, the reason we can do this is because your panels are actually connected to your battery before going through the inverter process. So what happens is you can generate, let's say we have the same 10 kilowatt hybrid inverter and we have 20 kilowatts of panels and maybe 24 kilowatt hours of storage for example. You'll be able to use energy in your home from that 20 kilowatts coming off the roof and the rest of that energy will actually go straight into your battery. Therefore the inverter process is not actually throttling back what the panels can produce and you're keeping as much of that energy as you possibly can to use for later on out of your battery. The inverter inverter, being the 10 kilowatt inverter, will only really work when you want to take that energy out of the battery or straight from the solar panels when you're using energy in your home. They're the advantages of oversizing your system and we would always recommend it at Penrith Solar Center.